What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to do a quick video on how to use Tailwind CSS with React. I'm a huge fan of Tailwind and I try to use it wherever I can. So let's take a look at how we can use it with a Create React app without ejecting. So we'll be making use of this article posted by Mike Francis as he got it to work in a CRA app without ejecting. So let's dive right in. So first we have to install Tailwind Auto Prefixer and a Post CSS CLI. So let's go ahead and just grab this. And I already have a Create React app, which all I've done is install it. So let's do this. Okay, that's done. What's the next step? The next step is to generate the Tailwind config and he uses it, he uses NPX here. I'm just gonna do the standard way. And I'm also just gonna name it Tailwind JS. So I'm gonna go into the Tailwind docs and just do it this way over here. Back to our terminal. Oops. Let me just grab that again. Let's name it Tailwind.js. And let me just delete that other one that I created. Yeah, this one. Okay. What's next? Next is to make a post CSS config.js. So I'm going to do that. Let me just copy this. Post CSS.config.js. Let's make that post css.config.js and let's paste this in here but make sure to change this to whatever you named your tailwind init so in our case it's tailwind.js okay and what's next next is to create a tailwind entry point so again i'm going to use the one in the tailwind docs because i think it's missing this one because this article is, it's not old, but it's slightly dated. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to put this in a in source. I'm going to make a new file called tailwind.css. I'm going to paste that in. Okay. And what's next? And here is where we hook it all together. So in your package JSON file, there are two new entries for build and watch, and it modifies the start and build scripts. So let's grab build and watch. Let's go into our package JSON. Let's add those. And let's make sure to change this to Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS and the output we want is this index CSS which already exists. So it's going to output the compiled CSS into here and it's going to override this but that's okay because that's actually what I want. And what else? Let's change the start and the build commands to incorporate these two new commands. So it's the same thing, it just adds on these. So let's do that. Okay. And make sure we import the index CSS in our JavaScript entry point. And I think it already does that by default. So index.js already does that, so we're good. And let's just go into our main app.js. And let's just add a Tailwind utility class here. So let's say BG Blue. And let's run this. npm run watch. Start, I mean. Okay, so there it is. But I think we should put the class on here. So let's take this. And let's cut it out. And let's put it on here. So class equals this. And see if that works. And there it is right there. So we know Tailwind is working. Let's just double check to make sure 
if we change the config file, then everything updates accordingly. So let's look for blue. And I'm going to change blue to just something else, so pink. So let's see if it just changes to pink. And it does, cool. So we have Tailwind working in our Create React app. So yeah, just a quick video. Hopefully you can use Tailwind with your React app and you can have a pleasant CSS experience. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.